Hello, so I am here today to talk a little bit about what it's like um, having a diagnosis, a cancer diagnosis um, with a baby. Um, like, I would imagine that a cancer diagnosis at any stage of life um, is very challenging to receive, it's very challenging to manage. Um, it's just, you know, not an easy thing to juggle regardless of where you are in life. Um, but when I, when I think about me personally and just kind of where I am in life um, and having that diagnosis thrown on top of where I am, in my mind, it's like the most challenging thing that I can ever imagine because like when you look at them individually, the two individually, having a baby um, is a lot, you know, managing a baby, it don't matter how many you have, one, two, three, it's just, it's just really involved, um, <laughs> keeping up with the baby. And the schedule, the treatment schedule that you may have um, with your treatments and getting better and fighting through everything, it, that's involved as well. Like it's, it's a job. Um, as my oncologist put it, it's, you gotta work. And so when you put the two together, um, especially if you didn't, you know, we didn't really plan to have to, <clears throat> excuse me, to have to like deal with the two together. Like nobody planned that. Nobody said, Hey, you know, I'm going, I'm going to try for this little baby. And then, you know, when she's nine months old, you know, we can throw some cancer on top of that. Nobody, <laughs> nobody plans for that. So it's just a lot. It's a lot to process. Um, it's a lot to manage. Um, and from the beginning, honestly, from the beginning of like when I received the diagnosis or when I received the pathology report, um, I knew, I knew it was going to be a lot. And so I often, you know, when I had my moments of just kind of trying to figure out how to do all this, it just was like, you know, the big question was how, how, um, and this is not even talking about the other children. Like this is literally just the layer of having a now 11 month old she was nine months at the time of diagnosis and so at that time it's like how do i juggle raising this baby at this transition in battling what you know as anybody would imagine is you know one of like the worst you know one of the worst um i mean there are other things that are horrible to be diagnosed with um but you know that c word cancer is one that like freaks everyone out um when you hear a diagnosis like that so yeah it's a lot it's a lot i don't even really yeah yeah baby hey baby um, so yeah, it's not really a lot to say. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. Like I'm tired um, all the time. But you was gonna be tight. Like, like again, when you separate the two, it's like having a cancer diagnosis and that keeping up with that rigorous schedule for treatments and you know just everything with that is a lot. That's tiring. Um, side effects from the treatment is tiring like this like the number one complaint is the fatigue and then you know we all know anybody that has raised a baby or um has anything to do with anything. just keeping up sorry i gotta keep up with her. she done walked off and she's doing something so i'm just trying to keep up with her but anybody that's um you know raised children or dealt with like preschool or just young children in general just know like how involved it really is and we gonna say involved because you are involved you are running behind um them all day and she is now 11 months and so she's a walker and so she's curious and she's learning and so she is just all over the place all day um and i love it i love that i can get home like sit home and spend this time with her and watch her grow come on tay Taya, come on, Taya. 
this time to watch her grow and explore is just that I didn't want to be dealing with cancer and doing this at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot. That's, I don't have no other words other than it's a lot. Taya, you gonna come say hi on the camera? Mateya, hi baby. <coughs> come here, come here. There she go, there she go. Come here, come on Taya, Taya. Matea, Matea, hi Matea. You know mommy doesn't know what she's doing with this camera stuff. So come here, cause we don't know how to really work it well. Come on, now we didn't turn to, uh oh. Come here, let's see, let's see if we can get her. Okay, here she is, there's Matea, look. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> so as mommy learned this uh, video, um, these video messages and learn how to do this stuff, this is the best we got right now. But yeah, this is Matea. Hi, say hi. Say hi. Yay! Good job. Yay! What a big girl. So I keep mommy busy. Yes, I keep it where mommy stays on her toes. Yeah. And say so that's what gets mommy through every single day. One of the reasons. One of many reasons. Um, but yeah. This is, this is what we keep up with in the midst of everything else. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful chaos, but it's beautiful. Okay. All right. Just to touch bases on the schedule, really, a little bit. So, like, right now. Like I am going once a week um, to get something, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just the breakdown, um, I'll explain at some, probably at another point, but it's just, it's a weekly, it's weekly a doc doctor's appointment. Um, it's, you know, waking up with Taya, um, well even to backtrack a little bit, waking up at, 6 30 every morning getting the boys ready for school um getting them fed getting them off to school on time um and there's two drop-offs there's drop-off for middle school i mean not middle school elementary school there's drop-off for high school um then there's coming back there's getting tay uh fed for breakfast and um you know keeping up with her and keeping her busy and active there's trying to do things for the household there's trying to do things for the business there's following up with clients because i am a real estate agent um i am a career um mom i'm an entrepreneur and so um i don't manage a lot of the day ins and day outs or day ins and out um of the real estate business because my husband does that but i still sell real estate um just last week I was renewing my nursing license and so there was studying, there was doing continuing eds for that. There is all the events for the children, um, the track meets, um, the course performances, the there was the move um, in the midst of the diagnosis. So when I say it's a lot, that's what I'm talking about. Like it's a lot. So if you just remove, if you remove cancer from that, just in itself, there's, like I said, keeping up with the children day in, day out, their schedule, getting people to school on time, following up with uh, emails from teachers, doing homework, submitting things on time, um, and then, you know, sports and any other activities that they're involved in. And then, you know, again, baby, keeping up with her all day, keeping her fed, um, keeping her entertained, keep like making sure she's learning and hitting her milestones as well. Um, and then again, trying to maintain the household, paying bills and keeping up with, oh Lord, let's not even talk about hospital bills. Um, but that stack and scanning those in for insurance, um, you know, following up with my dad and making sure that he's good and everything 
um, in terms of his schedule is, you know, he's he's following his schedule. He's making his appointments. Um, yeah, it's, look, I can probably keep going. Um, so when I say it's a lot, um, having a cancer diagnosis with a baby um, or, or having a cancer diagnosis at this stage in my life with everything that I have going on, I'm specifically talking about, you know, just the juggle of it with every single other commitment that still happens um just because you have you know just because you get diagnosed with cancer doesn't mean you stop living doesn't mean you you know put everything on hold while you get through that period no you get through that period while you're you know going through everything else you get through your treatments while you're still living you you know you get through your battle your your you know you survive it while you're doing everything else you don't pause you just do everything together so when you, um, yeah, when you think about, like I said, the when I say it's a lot, I'm like meaning like I have everything else that's going on that was going on regardless. Um, I was busy regardless all the time. And so not that that's a problem. I enjoy, um, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy being a mom. I enjoy being supportive supportive uh for a, a supportive friend um a supportive mom um i enjoy everything that i do so regardless of how busy i say it was or you know how busy things were outside of cancer it's not that i'm complaining i enjoy it but then when you you know you add on a layer of something that you don't particularly enjoy then you know as you can imagine that that's that's a lot and so yeah when i say it's a lot it's it's a lot because again you just you didn't sign up for it. So you had you were happy and content or just satisfied with everything you signed up for. And so when you add on something you didn't sign up for, it can be a lot. And so, yeah, I just, I guess the main thing is just to, you know, encourage, you know, anybody else that's out there that's dealing with this um, at the same stage in their life um, or in their thirties, or even before you started a family yet, and you're dealing with it. Like I said, I can imagine that it's that that diagnosis at any stage in life is a lot, but specifically to people who are, you know, specifically like me, who are married, um, have children, you know, have careers, have businesses, um, and have so much that they can, you know, continue to go on, have aging parents, um, or parent in my case, so many things that they can talk about that's going on already. And when you add in that extra layer specific, because it's not like, it's not like one of those things where, okay, well, you're just gonna, you know, just for this day or just for this week, it's busy or just for, this month is busy like it's an extended period of being a lot um and so this is just the icing on the cake this we hadn't put the candle on yet we hadn't sung her happy birthday yet this is the icing on the cake because like i haven't even had surgery yet and so that's a whole nother layer that we'll have to you know we'll have to wait and talk about that when that when i cross that bridge but just for now i already like i said it's, it's a lot for now um, my schedule is a lot. My life is a lot. And so having a baby, um, and dealing with a cancer diagnosis is a lot. And so I say all that to say, like, you just got to fight through. You got to get help. You got to receive help. Anybody that's willing to help you just Make say yes. seizing of, uh, saying yes anytime someone wants to offer help and be there for you. Just say yes. Say yes and receive it because it's a lot to manage. You cannot do it by yourself. You need support. And so get it. Get your help. Receive your help. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, and just, like I said, say yes. Say yes. They, do you need? Yes. You need me to? Yep. Do you need it? You need it. Um, in my case, my case is unique because I don't have um, my mom here. I don't have um, my mother-in-law. And so most of my support and help comes from friends and just my, my family that I've built.